Hi, beautiful family. How are y'all? Oh my gosh, I know we are going through some wild times. It's a great time to be alive here on planet Earth, I must say. Um, I know it's been a minute. I've missed y'all so dearly. Um, I know right now we all are feeling like we're in a dream. Um, things going on right now, it feels so surreal. Like, is this really happening? Um, you know, I think one third of our um, global population, our planet's population is on lockdown. I mean, these are crazy times, you guys. Um, you know, a month ago, we couldn't ever think something like this could happen. Um, you know, we hear about China and other countries, but um, you know, this global pandemic, I mean, it's just wild. Um, so I've been taking notes on this to make this video for days now. Um, you know, being isolated in my apartment, like, I mean, that there's just been so much thought into this that I've had. Um, you know, I think this time right now is, it's a very beautiful time. Um, even though, you know, we're in this crisis, you see people coming together. You see us as a collective coming together. And I think it's very magical. Um, you know, with all of us being in isolation, it's kind of like we're, we're pushed into um, looking inward and really um, getting to, you know, a lot of fears, a lot of emotions are coming up at this time. Um, you know, whether you're cooped up in the house with your family and kids, um, you know, whatever the case to each their own, everybody's in a different situation. Um, you know, some people are, are out of work and are stressing about money. Um, whatever has been, you know, um, pulling you down throughout your entire life, um, these feelings and emotions, they're coming to the surface and you're probably, a lot of you are probably freaking out. Like I get it. I get it. Um, the first few days I started freaking out, you guys, I started going through like just tons of emotions came up. Um, I've gone through every single emotion it feels like since this thing started, um, but it's, it's, a I feel like it's a cleanse. It's a, um, cleanse of planet earth. Um, we're being pushed into this beautiful ascension. Um, I, you know, it's a test. It is a test for humanity. Um, purging out the old frequencies, um, you know, the lower vibrations on planet earth will be purged. Um, and this is propelling the mass awakening. I think it's extraordinary. It's forcing people to wake up like wake up, you know, we've been going on autopilot for who knows how long. And it's like, we're being like hit, you know, stopped in our tracks, like, whoa, hello, wake up. I think it's, I think it's extraordinary. Um, you know, this is helping the collective, you know, it needed to happen. It forced isolation. It forced us into something that we're so not comfortable in doing. And that's being still, you know, we're not comfortable in being still in our lives. We're not comfortable with being still with our own presence. And, you know, it's, truly been this is a major blessing i think it's a major it's a gift from god it's extraordinary um you know a couple things that i wrote down um and to share with others you know it will all be okay i know a lot of people are going through horrible horrible stressors right now but just know that it will all be okay this was planned this was a planned blessing to happen on planet earth you are going to see we're all going to see beautiful shifts of consciousness. We're going to see a mass awakening. We're going to see a whole new world almost. Um, I think it's extraordinary. You know, I'm not into politics very much, but I think it's extraordinary that, you know, our president is going to be funding um, so many households, pushing back taxes, um, extending, you know, evictions for people that rent or have mortgages, things like that. I think it's, um, I think it's extraordinary. Um, did we ever expect that to happen? I mean, businesses are being helped out, $2.2 trillion bill passed or whatever. Um, I think that's that's unheard of. Um, have we ever been through anything like this in history? No. I mean, it blows my mind. It's mind blown. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to read. Um, one of my friends um, channeled a great message and I just wanted to read some of it. Um, so, this cleansing, if you will, is about removing lower energies. So more of your lower vibrations will come out during this time. You will act it out. You'll express it. You will ask questions like, why am I acting this way? You're not as distracted as before. You are now pushed into the time 
to express yourself um, alone or with family or friends. And more of who you are is really going to come out. This is a time for us to come together. It is a true test. It is an opportunity to let go of things that, that you never actually enjoyed in the first place. For some, this will bring families together or people in general closer together that they wouldn't have been able to do so before, to discuss things, talk about things that was not there before. It allows people to finally stop and take a breather. Um, you know, look in the mirror and ask, what is it that I have been working so hard for all this time? Um, you know, a lot of people might, you know, be like, man, I've been in this job that I hate. Um, why have I been doing this? Like, it really is forcing us, you guys. It's so crazy. Um, as things balance out, you will have become a different, a more loving to the self. And that is really the test. Um, loving yourself, loving others. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, and it's not really a test. It's not to solve it, rather to understand it, um, to get comfortable with it, to acknowledge what you express is you, you are becoming responsible for that. Because as you resolve these, embrace them. You're able to grow. You're allowing more space for more information about yourself. So yes, panic is a part of the collective. Um, it gives you an idea of how everybody is weak, but this will strengthen you. This will strengthen you um, as a collective, as the panic fades away. This will strengthen. This will strengthen us. Um, this will bring us all together for the first time. That's an opportunity you want to see and experience. All of us working together. The more time we do this becoming in sync, the more time is slowing down. I mean, yes. Oh my God. Time feels like it's like been one day and I'm like, oh my God, like, like what am I doing? I've had to make a coronavirus list of things that I want to do. Like it consists of like learning essential oils and making bracelets and um, making certain phone calls to family members and helping my brother with his LinkedIn, things like that. So, um, you know, I, I highly recommend making a list like that so that you can um, do some things that you've always wanted to do that, you know, you've never had time to do till now. So, um, so yeah, so the more we do this, becoming in sync, time is slowing down. There's not that turn of energy that you have to run 100 miles a minute, you know? I mean, a lot of you are going to be bored. You're going to be bored. I've been bored. Um, many can't sit still. Many can't sleep. Many are afraid and many are, are uncomfortable. Um, each will have an experience that is needed for their own growth. That's what I think is so beautiful in this. It's that, you know, the idea is to focus on yourself, you, you know, love the one you is, um, is to learn about yourself is to find is to is to find in what everything has happened can you find joy in the moment if you can't find joy why not what is it that you hate um, i think that's a great question to ask you know what can i you know what can i be grateful for asking yourself these questions um really looking inward and um you know what are you grateful for you have your whole family there with you right now i mean this is truly living we are being forced to wake up you guys it's extraordinary. Um, asking questions like, why do I react so quickly about this subject? You know, these are all matters who truly define who you are. Um, looking within, stepping away from imposing rules of how you believe the world should be, but rather accept it for what it is and focus on who you are rather than changing everything that is around you. Um, the strength of the human race is not what you do for someone else. It's what you do for yourself, for you what you do for you. I think that's so important. Every one of you is a bubble of energy. Energy, which must be at its fullest maximum of love because by doing so, any other being around it will benefit already. Yes, it will manifest physically as well, but the idea is if you want to change the world, your bubble is not capable to do so, but everyone working within easily changes the world. That's what moves mountains, you guys. That is what does it. Um, focusing on mental, emotional space, accepting reality, however it is that comes through. It is up to you to capture these opportunities. You will become more free. And I think that's what's happening right now, you guys. Yes, it's it's a major cleanse. It's, it's forcing us into uncomfortableness and um, chaoticness and worry and fear. But all of these things are needed. We're needing to go through these processes, these emotional turmoils in order to come out on the other side. And, you know, if you're going through a hard time, please reach out to me. Like, 
I'm here for you guys. Um, you know, that's why I have this channel is because I want, you know, to lift people up and let them know there's hope. It's going to be okay. Um, you know, life is, it's a, it's a game. We're in a playground and, you know, I think this is a true test of, you know, really coming into ourselves and figuring out who we are and why we're here, our purpose for being on this planet. It's extraordinary. Um, check out my friend Haytham's video in the link below on Facebook. Um, it really was one of my favorite videos um, that I've come across during this purge, during this cleanse, coronavirus. Um, check it out. I think um, it'll resonate with a lot of you um, as it resonated with me quite a bit. So I'm sending y'all all my love. Please, if y'all want to, you know, talk, reach out to me. Um, you know, my email is listed below. Please reach out to me. You know, if you're going through a tough time, if you're sitting at home by yourself like I am, um, you know, it's really, it really has been a challenge to sit home and, you know, do nothing. Um, but um, yeah, I'm here for you guys. I love y'all so much. Um, I'll start posting again regularly. I apologize for my break. I'm sure y'all forgive me though. So I'm sending y'all all my love. Take care. Bye.